Hello everybody, I am back with another video. Very exciting video, that is. Just when I thought Netflix couldn't get any better. You have the Wild Thornberries, the Rugrats, Rocco's Modern Life, all of these excellent cartoons that scream 90s childhood nostalgia. And then, just, what was it, weeks ago, not even, I hear that not only is Adventure Time on Netflix, but you have the regular show, which I haven't watched yet, but I've heard is incredibly similar to the absurdity that is Adventure Time. And then you have just a slew of Cartoon Network classics. And by no means are some of these child shows. I mean, yeah, they were on Cartoon Network, but some of the themes in these shows were very adult and pretty just weird. <laughs> but you have shows like Dexter's Laboratory, Powerpuff Girls, Johnny Bravo, Chowder, Cow and Chicken, A Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, Ben 10 Alien Force, Samurai Jack, Johnny Bravo. Yeah, Johnny Bravo, you guys. I couldn't believe it. I was blown away. It's been just an absolute, just time travel back in, you know, time, watching some of these shows after school on a Saturday morning, whatever it may be, it's just brought back some incredible memories, and it's given me a chance to re not only relive some memories, but really watch some of these shows that I missed out on, or catch up on shows that I just haven't seen yet, which, like Adventure Time, or... Um, you know, the regular show, or just Samurai Jack, which I never watched, but is awesome, and Johnny Bravo, which is just Johnny Bravo, um, but it's just, it's so awesome, and it just really made my day to find that Netflix is bringing just more and more of these excellent cartoons and animated shows, and right now, actually, I'm watching a show that I never watched back in the day, um, when it first aired, because... I, I don't know, I guess I just wasn't really interested at the time, but now uh, my love of Batman has just escalated beyond all craziness, and that is Batman Beyond, which is also on Netflix now, as well as a slew of other excellent comic book series, um, you know, animated cartoons that I strongly encourage you guys to watch, because they're really, really good, and especially if you're, you know, a comic book geek um, and superhero geek like I am, you really need to watch these shows. But uh, Justice League is also on there. They have an unbelievable number of X-Men and Spider-Man um, animated series. Uh, you name it and they have it. The only show that they really don't have right now that really is bumming me out is Batman the Animated Series. They have Batman Beyond, which is what I was going to say. I've been watching um, <laughs> quite a bit lately. I've already made it through the first season and I'm about halfway through the second right now. And it's just incredible, which, if you're not familiar, Batman the Animated Series um, was kind of actually Bruce Wayne and his story as Batman, and then when he became too old, he essentially retired as Batman, and this young kid basically takes on the role of Batman, but he's a much more kind of dark and sinister Batman. You know, he's much thinner. He's not so much about um, brute force, but much more like kind of endurance and just... Um, you know, kind of using more gadgets and such, rather than just using um, his tried and true strength and brute force, like I was saying. Um, but it really makes for a more interesting show, and it's kind of like set in the future almost. You know, they have like hovercrafts and all this kind of craziness, but um, it's really interesting, and, you know, a lot of the older villains make appearances, but like Batman, they're old. Um, so it's, it's really interesting how they kind of come into the story of this show, and it's also really interesting to see how, you know, this younger Batman takes on the role and uh, essentially relives Bruce Wayne's, you know, Batman experience. So it's really interesting, it's really dark, and it's really not for kids so much. Um, so it's awesome, you guys. This whole video is just to promote what Netflix is doing, which I am just all for. I think it's absolutely amazing that they're bringing some of these cartoons to Netflix and hopefully, hopefully, you know, you can get some kids of this generation watching some of these shows because the cartoons that are on now are absolute garbage for the most part, with the exception of shows like Adventure Time. Uh, but 
I mean, I can't even bear to put on the Disney Channel or Nickelodeon anymore just because it's atrocious. It's, it's honestly insulting how pitiful some of the cartoons are these days. And even shows like Spongebob have just gone off the deep end, I, th I feel. They're just not the same as they were when they once aired. So I strongly encourage you guys, any of you who are, who are young, still watching cartoons, you know, on Saturday mornings, get Netflix and enjoy some of these classic cartoons like Courage the Cowardly Dog, Batman Beyond, Johnny Bravo, The Rugrats, Rocco's Modern Life, Hey Arnold, all of these excellent shows, and you really couldn't ask for more. They're wonderful. So, I've rambled on long enough. What time is it? It's Adventure Time, you guys. Turn on Netflix, enjoy some awesome cartoon goodness, and uh, I want to thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you soon.